Hey, it's Saint. After patch 1.05 got an update the other day, not even not even a new update, just an update to an old patch. Uh, 1.05 got an update. There's a bunch of bug fixes, and uh, they changed chain casting and stuff like that. Um, all right, people were freaking out, and uh, you know, Elden Ring PvP is dead forever, and it's I I I oh god. So here's some commentary on that. I would love to talk about things that should have been fixed by now that aren't fixed that sh probably should not have even they don't need to be fixed they should just be gone it's it, we're this many games in there there's no excuse for some things to be as opaque and uh, some things to, to still exist uh, poise hyper armor it's opaque why do people need to to, to get on YouTube or discord uh, discord and, and learn about this. Why is it not just something that's communicated in the game? Um, it, status effect uh, on iframes. Why is that still a thing? Why are we still doing that? Um, that should not exist at this point, right? I would, And I would love to talk about these things. Balance, Bloodhound Step. I would love to talk about this, but I can't, I can't, because the, the larger discourse, the, 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 the narrative, the meta-narrative, is invariably what it always is make new pvp like old pvp and that's a dumbass discourse that's a stupid thing it's deeply stupid and uh i i'm not going to talk about it it's dumb but that's that's what this is coming down to that's that's what the in the 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 discourse always boils down to is make new pvp more like old pvp and it's dumb and i will give you an example of how it's dumb in the year 2019 three years in the year 2020 four years after the release of dark souls 3 there were thousands of people who were like dark souls 3 pvp was bad and died and no one played it Tons of those people. I say this as someone who interacts with tons of people every day on Twitch playing video games. Tons of them just assumed that Dark Souls 3 PvP was dead despite the fact that in the year 2020 there was no shortage of activity uh, it, with PvP in Gang City, in the Ring City. Um, no shortage of activity people probably not probably I would wager more people continued playing Dark Souls 3 PvP for the longest amount of time there were more people playing it for longer than any of these other games PvP's like you, you know obviously people were playing Dark Souls 1 PvP longer but I would wager that more people were playing Dark Souls 3 PvP by a large margin. And the reason is not because Dark Souls 3 PvP is better, because that's, a, that's subjective. The reason is because, objectively, there were more copies of Dark Souls 3 PvP, there was more copies of Dark Souls 3 sold, so there are more people to play, there are more people to learn PvP and enjoy it. If we could have a conversation about how dumb it is, that you have to learn stuff that is it completely unlearnable outside of going somewhere else and actually having it explained to you. If we could have a conversation about that, I would love that. Why does blood splatter when I roll? Why, uh, even if you know I, an attack misses me in PvP but blood still splatters? I rolled an attack and I still got poison. What happened? Things like that. Oh, yeah, that should not be a thing. The helmet swap glitch should have already been patched, obviously, but more importantly, it should not have been in the game. How has From Software not figured out that there are, like, strange interactions occurring between armor that affects stats if you equip and unequip them? Like, we're this many games in, and and that's something that they still haven't figured out? We, we still display poise as like a numerical value with decimal points? Are you serious? 
I would love to talk about this stuff. Balance. Bloodhound step. I'd love to talk about that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Because right now, the entire conversation is centered around, make this game more like the game I like. And I hate that. I hate it. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's so dumb. There are going to be a million people still playing this game's PvP six months from now. And they are going to be completely unaware of this moment in time. And if you stop playing Elden Ring PvP, you will be completely unaware uh, that they're there doing it. To you, just like to the people who said that Dark Souls 3 PvP was dead, it will be. Elden Ring PvP will be dead. Despite the fact that, again I would wager, there will be more people doing PvP in this game after release, longer after release, than any other game. Simply based on the numbers. Simply based on the fact that there's more of them. They will learn this game's PvP, despite the fact that they shouldn't have to. They will learn it, and they will love it. Because, for a lot of them, it will be their first PvP game. It might not be their first From Software game, but it will be the first game where they actually try invasions, PvP, duels, whatever. It will be the first one where they actually try it. And they will learn it, and they will love it, and they will be here. And you will be gone, and none of it, it won't matter. They will be completely unaware of you, and you will be completely unaware of them. Ships passing in the night. And so I, there's no point. I do not want to be a part of this conversation of make new PvP, old PvP. I don't, because I don't, one, I don't agree with it, and two, it's stupid. And it happens all the time and I hate it. I'm watching Dangit JM on Twitter fight for his life. And it's, he's essentially trying to break up a food fight at a Thanksgiving dinner. Or, you know, just a big family dinner. And, and he's trying to break up a food fight at the kids' table. I did that last time. I'm not doing it this time. It doesn't matter. It's just kids throwing dinner rolls at each other. It's pointless and stupid, and I'm not engaging in it. But uh, I'll be here doing invasions. <laughs> Until next time. Later, y'all.